Doug McDermott picking up the loose ball, gets his first bucket right away, asserting himself in. Should be worth noting, last year at Bradley, Doug McDermott had his career high 44 points as he lines one up and knocks it down. Five early ones for the All-American, Doug McDermott. Doug, stop, pop, no good. What hustle for McDermott. Managod fires for three, and he's good. Back the other way come the Jays. They want to push the pace. Good pass. Beautiful. Doug, eight points. Eight points. Tied at 11. 12 minutes to go here in the first half. Crowd just wanting one to fall. And here comes Raggi. Does just that. Chapman. Good. Feed the post and find the shooter's toe in the arc. Doug McDermott kicks it out to Gibbs for three, and he's good. Chase, I tell you. Good pass from Gibbs inside Echenique, and that one's good. Nice adjustment there. Usually when he's playing well, he's rebounding the ball well, and that allows Creighton to get out and run and do some different things. Chapman open for three, and he's good. Talking with Fields per game combined. Creighton as a team averages 5.6. Chapman with the jumper. Ending that Bradley run. Jumper no good. Echenique nearly leading the break there. Good pass from Medigal inside to Doug McDermott. Comes a post up, misdirection, trying to throw it into Echenique. There it nice is. Nice left Chase. hook there from Echenique and Coach McDermott. Chapman floats it inside Echenique, who's right there at the rim once again. Eight on two-point shots nice. already this half. They're four of four inside the arc. Leave action, the pass was off target. And there's Chapman weaving his way to the basket lane in Ottawa, Ontario. McDermott down low, finds Chapman wide open for three, and he's good. Chapman, good clock for Chapman. Wide open is Gibbs firing for three, it's good. He winds up on the floor, no foul call, but Creighton with a Dingman, the floater. That's no good. There's Artino with the rebound and the putback and the foul for Will Artino. Blood when there's a switch on a ball screen and he gets a big guy on it. Artino down low with the left hand and that's good. A quick five points. Nice lift off the bench for Creighton. Ready to sub in the next dead ball situation. Here's Rocky firing for three and he's good. Rocky now two of two of six. From beyond. Job by Austin Chapman to stay on under control, land on two feet, be able to pivot. Seven on the shot clock for Creighton. There's Chapman firing a long-range three-pointer, and that's good. He can slide his feet, and he can move around. Here comes a pen and play for McDermott. McDermott for three. Bang! Doug McDermott extends the Creighton lead to 11 points. From the field as Tyshawn Pickett throws it off the glass. No good. Make that 0-4. And here's Doug leading the break. He keeps it himself off the oh. glass, and that's good. Coast to coast goes Doug McDermott, the All-American, with a huge, huge play in the crowd, erupting here at the CenturyLink Sensley as well. Well, with a win at Wichita State, they've cemented themselves in the conversation to win the Valley regular season as Echenique goes into work with another good pass from McDermott, but Indiana State's so important when you're playing Bradley, and Creighton's done a pretty good job of taking care of it today. Absolutely, I was just about to mention, Creighton only has 10 turnovers as Doug lays it up and off the glass. Creighton leading 71-55. For Nevin Johnson and Andre Yates to have some good things happen to continue to build on their confidence level. Artino. Off the glass, offensive rebound, putting it back in. 16 points, what a performance from Chapman. Andre. 
Yates gets a bucket. There's Chapman liking what he sees from 